As we complete the fall cycle of Jewish holidays with Simchat Torah, the festival that marks the annual completion and beginning of the reading of the five books of Moses, the Torah, I want to focus our attention briefly on not only the first word of the book of Genesis, but the first letter in the first word of the book of Genesis in the Hebrew calligraphy text of the Torah scroll. The letter is a bet, the second letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and in the calligraphy text, it's larger than the rest of the letters, calling out for a rabbinic comment. And I'd like to briefly mention three different midrashim, three different rabbinic stories on this first letter. The first has to do with its shape. When asked who created the world, the bet points two words down to the third word in the Torah, Elohim, which means God. When asked, where is God? The bet points up toward heaven. Midrash number one. Midrash number two tells that when God was going to create the world, each of the letters of the Hebrew alphabet, except one, which was very shy, pleaded its case before God to be the first letter. And the bet was chosen because its plea included the fact that it's the first letter of the word bracha, which means blessing. And that convinced God to start the Torah with the letter bet. The one very shy letter was the Aleph, the first letter in the Hebrew alphabet, which is silent, and it received a special reward from God. Namely, it's the first letter in the Ten Commandments. The first letter of the word Anochi, I. A third Midrash, also focusing on the letter Bet, is the fact that in Hebrew, the prefix B can mean in or with. So the, the first word of the Torah, which we usually translate in the beginning of God's creating the heaven and the earth, can also mean with reshit. And reshit is a synonym in rabbinic literature for the word Torah. So that in this Midrash, the opening several words mean with Torah, God created the world, pointing to the fact that in the rabbinic mindset, Torah is existent, pre-existent, existed before the creation of the world, and indeed was the reason why God created the entire world.